love to say something more original than hello, but here we are. We're back. Back again. Guess who's back? We are. Um, today, for your visual pleasure and auditory delights, nice. yeah, Justin. Hello. Because he's so pretty. <laughs> and Justin is going to talk to us all, me included, about Highlander, the game, by B&B Games. Yes. He only told me like 30 seconds ago and I'd nearly already forgotten. <laughs> but because I stayed in a B&B recently, kind of logged in there at the back. It looks very nice. It involves cards. The miniatures, I think, are a mere distraction. But he knows all about this sort of stuff, so you can listen to him. I'll just stand here and look gorgeous. You can try. I don't have to try hard. <laughs> okay, well, first off, this is the first of two Highlander games coming out this year. The second one is a much bigger game. This game here focuses solely on the last battle between Connor McLeod of the Clan McLeod and the Kurgan. So it's primarily a card based game, um, four bouts and then final battle. It's, it's fairly straightforward. It's two player only, playtime about 15 minutes and it's done just through uh, comparing cards, doing like a, a blind draw from a, a dueling deck or else draw from face up cards and you're trying to do follow on moves. So you can only play certain cards in certain orders, but every card has a certain ability that can either score you more points or, or do defense. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Happy enough to give them a little run through on a close up? Yeah. Just thinking to myself, it makes a perfect little pocket game on, until you need the mat. <laughs> until you need the until mat. Until you need a pocket and a big coat. Yeah. It can be played without the mat, but the mat's pretty. It is. It is rather pretty. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Soon you'll be on top of the table with us and uh, getting in close. Okay, so we're going to run through uh, a typical uh, fight here. So what we have here, the first two cards played down with the first player marker, the Connor McLeod marker and the Kurgan marker. They do actually have another use in the game, but we'll get onto that later. But for now, the main thing is the first player token. Both players take five cards each, and the first card has been played down. So they're played down, face down, and then flipped over at the same time. Along the top of the cards, we have various different uh, indicators, attack with hand, attack with foot, attack with head, and the first player resolves first. In this case, he has an attack which has got through, so it'll be damage against the Kurgan. So we'll draw the next two cards down. They'll be drawn face down, flipped at the same time. And this time round, we can see that two images line up. That's a block. So first player has attacked and the Kurgan has blocked that move. Play will continue for four rounds and damage will be dealt. Cards will be reshuffled and it'll be drawn through again until uh, damage of 13 and then you're out. Okay, coming back quickly to the, the player tokens, they do have a feature in the game. Whenever you receive uh, five points of damage, you'll then move your token onto the relevant card. Whenever Connor McLeod reaches five plus damage, if you're the defensive player and you block, deal one additional damage to the opponent. That stays in play even whenever you get to nine plus damage. Um, they usually are a mirror image of each other Connor McLeod's ones are more defensive and the Kurgans are more aggressive. So, I mean, yes, they're nice miniatures, they really are nice miniatures, but that's the only real use of them in the game is to indicate how much damage you have received and to unlock special abilities. Okay, so here we have finished a typical fight. We can see here that uh, McLeod has sustained three damage and the Kurgan two. And if we look through all the uh, the indicators on the top of the cards. This was a hit for McLeod against the Kurgan, another hit, a block, and a final hit. So that'll be three more hits against the Kurgan, putting him up to five. Now, you would add these three tokens on normally, but because he unlocks a special ability at five damage, they will go back into play, and he will sit above his five damage, which, in this case, if I'm the offensive player playing as the Kurgan, and I strike with a card with one attack position, deal one damage to opponent. So as the Kurgan takes more damage, he becomes more aggressive. After this round, all the cards will be taken off, reshuffled, five cards dealt out to the players again, and the round will continue that 
You can either draw one of the two lineup cards into your hand or else draw blind until both players have five. Then you go into the second bout and will repeat until somebody has sustained 13 damage.